Well, Shannon and Mike, the congressmen agree. Today was certainly a day unlike any other that they've experienced on Capitol Hill, saying they are both saddened and outraged. Senator Jack Reed was prepared for a political showdown Wednesday as roughly a dozen of his Senate colleagues and more than 100 congressmen, all Republicans, plan to challenge the results of the November election. This looks more and more as just uh, an assault on the constitutional order and a, a disrespect for the Constitution. And it will stand in recess but just moments after our chair. conversation, the Capitol went into lockdown. The are in the building. Thank you. Politics abruptly put on hold as the physical safety of lawmakers was put in jeopardy. Everybody stay down. Get down. Reed and fellow senators were ushered to a secure location while Rhode Island's congressmen watched the chaos unfold from their locked offices. The Capitol was ostensibly uh, under siege. So this is not a peaceful protest. Uh, this is nothing short of a coup attempt. To me, one of the most disturbing moments of, this, of the entire day today was when you saw some of these uh, uh, lawless individuals uh, go up on a scaffolding and take down the American flag and replace it with a Trump flag. Shaken but safe, Rhode Island's Democratic congressmen both putting the blame squarely on the president. This is conduct which is impeachable, and the president of the United States should be impeached. We should convict him and preclude him from ever holding this office again. Freshman Congressman Jake Auchincloss of Massachusetts' 4th District was sworn in just three days ago, characterizing President Trump Wednesday as dangerous and unhinged. It's a dark day for our democracy, but we're not going to let this mob define who we are as a country. We are resolved, and I know I am resolved, to get back onto the House floor and to do the work of the people. And that is exactly what lawmakers did tonight, returning to their respective chambers at around 8 o'clock. That is where they remain at this hour. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.